Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how to find the prime factors. So all of you know about the factors, right? So now our program is to find the prime factors. So let us see the logic and then we'll go with the implementation. Prime factors. So first thing we need to find factors of a given number. Second thing, find prime find each factor for a prime prime number. Right? So prime check each and every factor. Find each factor for a prime number. So this is a simple thing. So factors, factor check. So how to check the factors means, so divide the number with, sorry, from one to given number, right? And if, if modulo operator results zero that mean the number sorry the number is a factor okay the number is factor of a given number so the right so that means we have to apply the modulo operator from one to that particular given number let us take some given number means n. So we'll take n. So if modulo operator is a zero, that means the number of is a factor of n. Divide n from one to n. Okay. So divide n from one to n. And if modulo operator results zero, that means the number is a factor of n. Right. Now prime check. What we have to do? For the prime check, apply the same thing, divide the factor from 2 to n minus 1 because uh, if, if any number is having a factor of 1 and itself, so that means uh, the prime number will be having the factors only 1 and itself. So we are eliminating both the things. So we are checking for from 2 to n minus 1. 2 to n minus 1, right? If there is any factor, so simply we can say it is not a prime, right? So there should not be, should not be factor from 2 to n minus 1. Then we can say it as a prime, right? So let us check. Uh, with the implementation part, we will see the implementation part. Okay. So, first let us take an uh, n value. So, n is equal to int of input enter number. So, we are taking some number. Now, we have to find the factors. For each factor, again, we have to check for the palindrome. So, for i in range of 1 to n plus 1. So, here we are writing n plus 1 because we have to check for the self also n plus 1 and what what happens if n is divided by i that means every iteration i value will be changing from 1 2 3 and so on till n plus 1 if n mod i is equal to is equal to 0 that implies it is a factor it is a factor now we have to check for the prime so for j in range of 2 to what is, here? what is here prime? We have to check the prime for i. So 2 to i if if i mod j is equal to is equal to 0, simply initialize the flag to 1 and uh, initially take the flag as 0. 
so change the flag value as one because the, it is having a factor and break the chain right break the chain and after that come out from the loop and here based upon the flag value so flag is equal to is equal to zero that implies it is a prime so print what we have to, to print i so i value and use the end attribute so that uh, the next output will also be print in the same line itself right for example this is a program simple program execute this one and take 24 so we know the factors of 24 1 2 3 4 and 6 so among that only 1 2 3 are the prime factors so if you execute you will get only the prime factors so if you consider any other number so if you consider some four ones so we are having a lot of factors but we are having the prime factors are 1 11 and 101 if you consider 99 so the prime factors are 1 3 and 11 right 1 3 and 11 similarly let us take 100 so we have the prime factors are only 1 2 5 so simple logic first we are checking the factors so if n mod i is equal to 0 that implies uh, n is divisible by i so factor of n is i so we need to check for prime for this particular i value so th that's why i am it, we are taking one more iteration we are uh, dividing that particular i value with uh, j value so j ranges from 2 to i because that means uh, 2 to i minus 1 it will iterate so if any if there is any factor for this particular number automatically the loop will be terminated and based upon the flag value we are deciding whether it is a prime or not because if it is a prime the flag value remains same that means the flag value will not be changed initially flag value has paid, has been taken as zero so only if it is having a factor the flag value will be changed to one if the flag value is zero after completion of all the iterations simply we can say the number is a prime number so it moves to the next one i will be second one so again it will check for the prime factor again if it is uh, if, uh, again it will check for the factor and if it is a factor again that particular value will be checked for the prime so this is a prime logic this is a factor logic right so it's a very simple so hope you understood this one and uh, if you are uh, having any doubts regarding this uh, prime factors uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much